When I did my research fellowship at Harvard Medical School in 1995, I rotated through the stroke service and one of my uh, patients uh, had a left hemispheric stroke. He was unable to speak. I was involved in uh, his care and the stroke neurologist at this point in time said, well, there's this new technique out there. Uh, this patient will undergo endovascular therapies. And I had never heard about this at this point in time. It was a very early time in my career. And so the patient was being brought up and one of the luminaries in our field, uh, Professor Insop Choi, inserted a small tube into the patient's groin, went up into the arteries and gave a clot-busting drug locally in front of the clot and was able to open the artery. And while the patient was on the table, he started speaking again. And this was for me, like I said to my stroke neurology uh, chief at this point in time, whatever this individual is doing, this is what I want to do. I remember one patient, a professional boxer, who had a stroke, who was unable to move his right arm. We took out the clot and uh, this is a slightly unpleasant feeling because it is a sharp pain. And all of a sudden, the next thing I realized is that the patient was able to move his hand again because he started uh, like boxing. He started to uh, actually reach out for me and uh, I got a nice uppercut into my, uh, into my rib case. I recall a pianist, concert pianist, who actually had a stroke and went back to concert piano playing. I remember a ballroom dancer, 96 year old, who had her stroke while dancing and who got back to her normal life. I remember a young mother of two, a triathlete actually, who had a stroke and who went back to her life, who went back to her children. This is something that is deeply satisfying as it immediately shows that what we are doing has a direct impact on patients and their families and their loved ones. Stroke is the ultimate team sports. Stroke means that you have to have a very good stroke neurologist makes the diagnosis, very good neuroimaging skills to further hone down on whether you have an ischemic or a hemorrhagic stroke and whether you have a large vessel occlusion or a small vessel occlusion. Then you need the interventional neuroradiologist or endovascular neurosurgical expertise to take out the clot. This is not only a team play of physicians, but this is the team play from nurses, technologists, from allied health, physiotherapists that are able to join the patient in his journey through the Campbell Brain Institute in order to give him all the right types of treatment at the right point in time. You have to have a passion if you want to go into this field of work, but I can tell you, you will be rewarded. I'm very proud to be a part of the Kremble Brain Institute of UHN.